Hey guys, um, I'm Katrina, and I'm going to be talking about my experience at the Bluebird Cafe in Nashville, Tennessee. I went to Nashville in 2016 for a graduation gift from my older brother, Chris. Thank you, Chris. It was the best experience of my life. So basically, we had to call a certain number that was the Bluebird Cafe, and we had to be put on a list. And so it was at, it was like around like 11 o'clock where we could start calling and people call really fast so what I've heard is it's kind of hard to get into. I had my mom calling, I had my brother calling. I think this certain day that I called was a day that people could sing there even if you weren't in the area, which was really cool. Most of the time when I called it would be beeping and it wouldn't pick up because it was so busy because everybody's trying to get a spot at the Bluebird Cafe. So after we found out that I made it on the list and there was an open spot for me, time rolls around and it's around like 5 and I, I wanted to go really early so that I could be ready, prepared, all set to go. It was a lot smaller than I thought it would be in person because I know that in the show Nashville it's not the real Bluebird Cafe, it's actually a, a fake one and it's in a studio. It was really, really, really adorable. I ended up making friends with people I waited in line with because you had to wait outside um, in the beating sun. It was so hot. I can't imagine, you know, being a security guard there because it's just so... I would have to carry one of those little fans with me because everyone was just sweating and, you know... I was all ready with my outfit but I was like sweating through it and I was like, oh no, I'm gonna be so gross for when I perform. Finally, the doors open and we walk in and we find a spot. My brother and I sat right at the front of the stage because we wanted a nice good gander at the people. <laughs> gander. There was a person that went up on stage and announced who was singing, what order it was, and I believe I was like maybe the 10th person in. There was so many amazing people there, so, many, so much talent. Um, I was just honored to like be in that, that building. The first song I sang was Every Day, and I was so nervous. I've never been so nervous in my life, just knowing that Faith Hill was there and Taylor Swift was discovered there, like, there was a lot of pressure. <laughs> and I think one person was like whooping it up in the back, and I, I'm assuming that they were from Boston, and later I found out that it was Lauren Paley, who I'm, and I ended up being really good friends with. She's like my little pen pal. We ended up connecting on Instagram and we were like, oh my god, you did so good singing and stuff like that. So like, it was really great to like make friends out of this. And still to this day, we just like call on each other's pictures and we're like, girl, you look so cute. So back to the Bluebird Cafe. So we ended up having everybody go that was, that signed up. And so then they had picked out of a hat for people to go for a second time. And I didn't think I was actually gonna get picked, but I did, which was amazing. So I ended up singing Like You, which was a recent song that I wrote. Just seeing like the point of view from the stage to the audience. I'm gonna insert a video of me singing at the Bluebird Cafe. Mind you, it's not the best quality just cause the lights are dimmed. You know, they they try to get people in a in a, a mood. So my name is Katrina Gustafson. I am from Boston, Massachusetts. Boston, yeah. <laughs> um, and I'm going to sing you a song that I wrote, the first song I ever wrote, and it's called Every Day. For a long, long time, for a 
what the world's gonna be okay with more people like you. Um, give it a thumbs up if you liked it and I will be posting more videos soon.